Welcome back to Hoop Madness. Playoff action, all finals on the baseline ticker. Got to thank Pizza Hut, 50th and Elgin, for feeding our staff tonight all season long. Cherokee and her staff do a great job. Now to boys, area round playoff action, 6A, number 25, Friendship, and Chisholm Trail in Abilene. Tigers down three, Leighton Stone. Gonna roll in and go off glass. The deficit was one, then up one. Armani Gakanica working hard. Look at him maneuver. Look at him slice through the defense. Finding an open hole. He'll go off glass. The lead was three. Gakanica feeling it. So from inside, they go out to him. And he's left open. So he's going to drain the three pointer. A 15 0 run by Friendship. The Tigers celebrate winning it 51 41, turning the page for head coach Paul Page to the regional quarters. Lubbock Cooper. Taken on El Paso Andrus. Game a tied, under a minute to play. Armani Garman with a big time jumper. Lubbock Cooper was up by two. 20 seconds to play. Andrus gets it to Josiah Evans. He hits the three. Eagles up 54 53. Six seconds left. Pirates last chance. Garman going to try to get the shot to go, and it doesn't. Andrus ends Lubbock Cooper's season. Pirates' deepest run in 10 years 54 53. Number nine, Estacado facing Decatur. Early on, Moses Stevenson going to hit the three. The Matadors up by seven in the second. They go back to Moses. He's going to go in down low, drive and score, and Andy's fouled. It's a 10-point lead. In the fourth, Estacada trailing. Tim Perez driving and scoring, but the Cater pulls away, upsets number nine Estacado, 70 to 56 to advance on. Leveland taking on number eight, Crum. Lobo's down big, but Ethan Salazar going to get the hoop here for Leveland. No ho hum for Crum on fire. Asher E. Owens for three. Number eight Crum knocks off Leveland 95 58. Number two Shallow Water and Brownfield at Lubbock Cooper. Hayden Buckley going to fight against the Cubs defense, tossing it in, getting it and one. Shallow Water by three. Cooper Lusk then going to Gavin Coleman. He's there for the score. Shallow Water by four. Jerron Lawrence and Jojo Carrillo pulling up, getting the three. Cubs battle, but number two, Shallow Water wins it 67 to 58. Littlefield taking on number 19, Childress in Floydata. Big crowd out there. Wildcats with the rock. Jaden Barrio driving in, splitting the defense, gets the fadeaway shot to go. Andy's fouled. Childress. On the fast break, Billy Moore all alone, lines up for three, knocking it down, tied at the half. Bobcats back at it. Aiden Allen going to drive, get the turnaround J to go. Childress up three, five seconds left. Ryan Williams, last chance shot, doesn't go. Childress wins it 61-58. Littlefield had a phenomenal season. Floyd Data taking on Wheeler. Whirlwinds up four, off the miss. Offensive board and putback from Bron Hobbs. They go up six. Moments later, it's the lefty, Ty Henderson, going to lace a three-pointer from the corner. Floyd Ada adds another gold ball trophy. They're the dealer of a loss to Wheeler, 86-75. Olton taking on Groover at Caprock tonight. Close one in the second half. Sebastian Sparkman in the corner, drilling the three. Olton on a 10-0 run. They have a six-point lead in the fourth. Later, Colt, Colt Matthews, the steal for Groover. Up ahead to Brock Butler. Groover back within four. But man, Olton, these guys work, man, for Coach Workman. Sparkman, another spark for three. Olton wins it 49-43 to advance. Hale Center. Taking on Clarendon. Clarendon. Hale Center. Mount the comeback. Aiden Baldridge knocking down the three. But then it was Clarendon from there. Leant Prince inbounding. Gets it to Lyric Smith underneath for the bucket. Then Prince on defense. The strip takes it all the way. Clarendon wins it 71 45 to advance. Number 16, Plains in El Dorado. Cowboys out quick. Tyler Vargas, deep three, and he's got it. It's a seven-point lead by Plains. Furman Luna then going to get the runner to go. The lead was 15. Then Braylon Ward says, man, I'm going to take a super deep three, two. Number 16, Plains wins it. 
53-33. They get the gold ball. No celebration because there's more work to do. The Plains Cowboys are the Hoop Madness Team of the Week. Number two, Jayton. And Whiteface at Lubbock Cooper. Sean Staniland over to Justin Collins. Draining the three. Jayton by three in the third. Tight game. Staniland then going on defense. Going through the defense, scoring there, Jaybirds by 18. Then like clockwork, it's Staniland again. It's Staniland time! Number two, Jayton beats Whiteface, 58-38. Paducah taking on Klondike. Dragons breathing fire early, up three. Jake and Wright making the right decision. That three, Paducah's up six. Cougars fighting back here off the steal. Jared... Quintanilla, shot bouncing off Colby Pepper, getting salty. The rebound, Klondike takes their first lead of the game. Paducah up one in the second. It's Pepper with another rebound. And uh, what would you do for Klondike when they win 70 to 35 prayers for Tucker uh, uh, Thixton? We've got uh, Truett Thixton. We got Morton and Lorenzo going at it. Over at Estacada, fourth quarter, Indians by three. A.J. Mendoza. To, to Lane Lyon, Tribe increasing the lead to six. Lyon ain't lying. He's fired up. Zoe not ready to go. Down four. Garcia over to Quintanilla. Morton up only two. Still a two-point game. Alex Lopez ready to play on to next week. The gold ball goes to the Morton Indians. They win it 54-48. We got Spring Lake Earth and Miami. Fourth quarter in this game, Caleb Castillo, a great post move to get to the bucket for the Wolverines. Then Hayden Thompson, tough shot on the drive, but he's got it. Miami pulling away, and then Garrett Hare going deep in behind for Miami, and they get the win, 54-42. to 42. We've got Silverton, and number 15, Will Dorado. Hunter Corman, pull up three, off screen, he's got it. Then Blue Washington, gonna drive through tough traffic, and he's got it. Will Dorado gets the win tonight, 65-32 over Silverton. Texas Tech baseball today, home opener against Texas Southern. Bottom of the first, bases loaded, Owen Washburn up the bat, ball four. Sending Washburn to first. Tracer Lopez first run at home this season for the Red Raiders. Tying it at one. And Texas Tech breaks a record. 32 runs in the game.